Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. In this episode we are gonna go through everything including spoilers with the new Mastery Challenges Pack 2. In the end we are gonna buy everything that Hildira has as a new items in her shop. Hopefully you enjoy this. If you do and if you don't want to miss any future content Hitting the like, hitting the sub and turning on the notifications would be really smart idea and again spoiler alert. I am to listen to an eye with my ears. I fear you mock me. There is no mockery. Go. You will understand. So we will start the new quest in our settlement, talking to Hildiran. Before that you need to be at least level 221 and completed the first part of the mastery challenges. As you can see, we are in the done week. This was a little bit tricky. So what we need to do, we need to come all the way around the castle. Actually, you can take a boat right over here. There is a breakable wall in the cliff, in the mountain. Also, there will be oil jars and in the done week castle, there will be enemies. So you can stack up your adrenaline and blow up this wall. Doesn't matter which ability you are using to break it. Just break it. Explosive arrow, the smoke bomb and after that pulling up the torch like I did. Both are totally fine and I think even the solar bass is gonna bash that door. At the very bottom of this cave, we will see similar door that was opened in Ravensthorp, and let's interact with it. I see you are unable to open a simple door. The singing stone tells me something is within, but the door will not move. Have you still the amulet of Freya? Oh, you burden me with so much jewelry. You may have fooled Freya, but your strength is no match for Odin. You mean to say that I must continue to train? New shrines of Hugarheim await you. If you like, come visit me. I have more treasures to bestow. Meanwhile, keep this. There may be other hidden playthings of the gods. Alright. The next step will be the actual master challenges. I already did do the guides for all of them, so if you want to check, there will be a couple of them pinned in the pinned comment and all of them will be in the description box down below if you want to see one specific location and after doing so completing all of the three trials around the England we are coming back here and as I said earlier there will be oil jars at the camp at the tent but we don't need them anymore because we already did blow up the wall coming back here it will be the next part of this quest
long last. What is this? Vengeance! And more spoilers coming, so... If you didn't hit my warning at the start, well, this is your second chance of doing so. And we are gonna go through a little bit, not all the battles, but some of the conversations, interesting lines that are happening in this quote-unquote post-battle trial. What is all this talk of Valkyries? You well know, the Valkyrie Hilton was betrayed by Freya and imprisoned by you! Stay away! You must defeat all of me! Surprised by death. Will I never be done with you? as the wind the wolf kissed. Uh, uh, oh. <sighs> 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 It was... not entirely a dream. The fight was fought in two spheres. You have defeated me both here and in the mind's realm. Why have we fought? I wished to take vengeance for my foremother of countless generations ago, Hildur. Revenge upon me? Untold generations of my foremothers lead back to a powerful Valkyrie called Hildur. She was Freya's lover. Odin burned with jealous fury. He threw Hildur into prison. ...where my long-ago grandmother languished for years. Your long-ago grandmother was Freya's lover? All she had left of Freya's love was her amulet. With each generation, my family vowed vengeance on Odin... 
whom we have watched for with vigilance. You take me for Odin. I did. But I was mistaken. You are far wiser than he. In defeat, I offer my loyalty. It is a tale fit for a drunken madwoman. But I accept your pledge. I am grateful to assist you, Wolfkist. No need for this ancient beacon any longer. If you wish, there is training yet to be done. Treasures to be had. Come see me to prepare, or to learn more about Hildur. I would like that. generations. It is a long time to carry a grudge. And by completing the main storyline for the Mastery Challenges, you are rewarded with the Valkyrie's Legacy headpiece. And also I did find this one interesting, the Crushed Odin's Eye. I see. These objects are used as beacons. Note. Just again, I don't know if this is Ubisoft thing or not, but the wording objects, so not as a singular, but as a multiple. So there might be continuation for these ones, or something connected to these ones, because beacons, well, we will see what the future will hold for us. So after completing the trials and getting all gold from the trials, if you are still in progress of making gold, from the Master Challenge Pack 1. Well, you might be in luck if you want the Valkyrie's Legacy outfit first. Can you remind me what you can help me with? I am in Ravensthorpe to train you and to trade treasures for any battle energy you have collected. I would like to see your wares. So, here we go. This is costing 6 Master Energy, 7 Master Energy, another 7 Master Energy, and another 7. The weapons, they are like 15 each. I don't actually remember how much was the old ones. And the battle energy, all of that will be consumed for the tattoos and decoration pieces. I will be showcasing all of this. Bow is actually pretty good looking, but the perk is pretty useless in my mind. So let's see, let's see. And you will get cutscene after buying everything or final piece of the Valkyrie's outfit. I marvel at you, Eivor. Such armor. It is my honor to wear the shielding of a Valkyrie. It suits you well. So first we are gonna see the armor and the weapons and finally we are gonna see the decorations and I was happily surprised with those ones and you will see what I mean. Let's see the perks of the Valkyrie armor. The 2 set bonus from this armor set increase health when equipped, bonus is plus 15 health. The 5 set bonus receive a different bonus every 15 seconds while in combat up to maximum of 60 seconds. Double the stats bonuses when reaching the maximum duration. The bonuses, they are plus 10 melee damage, plus 10 range damage, plus 10 stun and plus 10 attack. So this seems pretty interesting to me. I'm still on my way to figure out how this works. So if you know, so please leave a comment down below and explain how this works. Let's move on to our first free, well quote unquote free sickle that you can use in the main game and you don't need di any DLCs for this one and I'm keen to see when Ubisoft is releasing connect challenges where we need to use the sickles. The perk of this raven sickle, icicles are released after dealing 5 critical hits, stacks 5 times, cooldown 5 seconds. 
So five crits and yeah, we are gonna see soon how this works. For now, let's change to the tattoos. The face tattoo, it is pretty okay. On the female Eivor, the chest and the back pieces, well, kind of meh. Also the arms, well, not my favorite, so only the head tattoo might be usable. Other than that, I would choose the decorations over the tattoos from the Hildiran shop. So, little bit Dreamcatcher themed, all seeing eye, and all that. Let's see how the Divine Valkyrie's legacy outfit looks like. The Lava Sword out of the way. Let's see, I really did like the medical status of the Legacy outfit. But in the Divine settings, well, we are having both solar bats, but I think in the Divine quality, this set reminds too much of the Twilight pack. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below as well. The perk of the Raven Sickle, well, I think this is pretty awesome. And let's see that one again with the different enemy. So, the spikes of ice, they will come through the ground and dealing damage and knocking enemies down like this. Pretty awesome. The leaf bow, like I said, I think the perk is pretty useless. It is a light bow, so you are stacking up the adrenaline pretty fast without the perk. Refill on adrenaline slot after 5 consecutive headshots. Stacking 5 times, cooldown 20 seconds. Moving on to the last gear piece, the lava sword. The perk of this weapon, magma explodes after 10 consecutive hits on ignited enemy. Stacking up 10 times, cooldown 20 seconds. Thankfully, that is not for one enemy, but yeah, just 10 hits on ignited enemy will be doing the trick but the 10 i think that is pretty pretty high number what do you think before ending this video we are gonna see all three new decorations and i was like i said i was happily surprised with these ones and let's start with the swords and yeah we really need better way of Choosing the tattoos, choosing the decorations. That is just an awful mess all over the place. But other than that, the swords, they are looking pretty, pretty nice in my opinion. From the swords, let's change to the wolf. And I really like this, but even though this is wolf, this is not my favorite from these decorations. The last and the next piece will be my favorite. Which one is yours? Let me know in the comments. So this was everything for this video, huge shout out to every single one of you and special shout out to my members if you want to be part of that elite wolf pack, you know what to do, the member list it will roll on while I'm speaking and for now let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.